In this video, we're going to make a one-day shoe rack with some big box lumber and dowel rods. So right now, I'm cutting the three verticals. Um, there'll be two sides and then one in the middle. The one in the middle will have holes all the way through it, and that's what I'm doing right now with a Forstner bit. And there's a reason I'm doing the middle first, you'll see in a minute. So once I lined up all of the holes with the Forstner bit, I drilled all the way through. And then you can use the middle one as a template for the sides. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the dowel rods to length. They're going to go the entire length of the shoe rack. So I used a little uh, hand clamp and uh, used that as a stop so I can get all of my dowel rods the same length. So I'm cutting those to length right now. So the next step is I'm going to clamp the middle piece. You can see that I already have the holes drilled with the Forstner bit and I'm going to clamp it so it's uh, together at the right height on each side so it's flush. And then I'm using a rubber mallet and the same Forstner bit I used to drill the holes and this is an easy way to find the center of the holes and have everything align perfectly when you line up your dowel rods. So I'm doing the same thing with the other end, and so this will be the inside of one of the sides. And again, making sure that everything lines up properly, and just tapping a center hole from the Forstner bit, gently. So the next step is I just take a uh, awl, and I'm making that little pinpoint from the Forstner bit a little bigger so that the drill press has a guide when I drill in it. So now I'm going to drill all of the holes and I'm going to drill them about uh, a third of the way to halfway through. Um, they're not going to, the dowel rods are not going to go all the way through on the ends. So there'll be a lot of drilling of holes here. Okay, so now for the obligatory sanding montage. And I'm just knocking the edges off and getting as much as I can, rounding over the edges just a little bit so we don't have some sharp corners there. And then once this is done, we will be ready for some assembly. So now I'm filling the, the ends with glue. And then you'll see I'm putting the dowels all the way through and trying to get that approximate. Uh, in the center and then I'm attaching each end and then attaching the clamps to glue up and letting that sit overnight. When I'm done, when that's done, I pull off the clamps, do some painting, and we've got a finished shoe rack. The one thing I will say is spray paint worked okay, but I did have to come back and brush it and get a nice brush. And that's it for the shoe rack. So. Check back next time where we'll be doing some multi-wood species cutting boards. Thanks for watching.